Hello everyone, and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Transportation and Ticket Center to be on the move over to the Magic Kingdom. Coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at the Walt Disney World Transportation and Ticket Center, also known as the TTC. This is where we're gonna start our excursion and we're gonna end up at the Magic Kingdom where we'll catch a glimpse of the Walt and Mickey partner statue. Did you know there's a pathway that mostly encircles the Seven Seas Lagoon? And you can walk from the TTC over to the Magic Kingdom. Before we start our adventure, I'd like to show you the various modes of transportation that TTC offers. Like the ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom. The Resorts Hotel Monorail with service to the Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary. The Express Monorail to the Magic Kingdom with transfers to the Epcot Line Monorail. To locate this walking path, we have to head on the other side of the vacation planning ticket booths and go out the security exit and make a right. We've located the walkway to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Now we're gonna make a quick right and head over to the lagoon. Oh, and look, there's the ferry boat docked at the TTC. Next up, the Bora Bora Bungalows. These Disney Vacation Club units are standing on stilts in the Seven Seas Lagoon. Up ahead is Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, beach, and lava pool. Let's go see that. Now we have a choice to make. We can continue following the pathway straight ahead over to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Or we can make a left and head towards the lobby. Down below is the lava pool with the water slide off in the distance. Now we're going to take this pathway to a quick service dining experience. Down to Trader Sam's, Tiki Terrace. It looks like we're a little too early today, but we can still check out the menu items. Appetizers include the Kahuna Tuna Sushi Roll, Chicken or Tofu Lettuce Cups, Kahlua Pork Tacos, Veggie Rainbow Roll, Thai Chicken Flatbread, 
pan-fried dumplings. And they also have Sam's Nobu's Brews, like a Skipper Sipper, a Schweitzer Falls, and a Polynesian Punch. Near the waterfall is where you can enjoy the live music and lush island vibe of this outdoor lounge, courtesy of the Jungle Cruise's legendary Trader Sam. Now let's head down towards the waterway. And there's the Seven Seas Marina. We've come up to Luau Cove that houses Disney's Spirit of Aloha dinner show. As of the taping of this video, there's no date yet announced for the reopening. Here's a beach used for special events. We're going to continue walking down this pathway here. Up ahead is Franck's studio, and over to the right-hand side is the Disney's Wedding Pavilion. Would you look at that? There's a wedding going on right now with Cinderella's carriage. Straight ahead are the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. There's the beach pool and sprawling over in this direction is Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Located over in this direction is the Courtyard Pool. We've come up to the Captain's Shipyard with the golden spires of Cinderella's Castle across Seven Seas Lagoon. Now we're going to follow this pathway around the corner to the right-hand side of the Sego K building. We've made it to the floating pontoon swing bridge. Monorail! This is where you could experience the electrical water pageant with its whimsical sea creatures that sail across the Seven Seas Lagoon to classic Disney tunes during this nighttime floating parade. If you look carefully through the monorail beamway, you could see the barges that are tied to the maintenance dock. Now let's continue our walking tour down to the Magic Kingdom. We've reached the boat launch area near the Magic Kingdom. From the TTC to this spot, it took about 1.7 miles or 33 minutes to get here. It wasn't too bad. It was very scenic and fun. Now we just have to go around the corner to the left hand side and through security screening. 
we've made it to the Magic Kingdom's entrance. Let's proceed through the gateway, utilizing the touch points. We're now inside the theme park. towering overhead of the golden spires of Cinderella's castle. But just down here is the partner statue. We believe in our idea, a family park where parents and children can have fun together. Walt Disney. Back in 1995, the partner statue was unveiled at Magic Kingdom Park here at the Walt Disney World Resort. 
it was the second partner statue to ever be featured at a Disney park. The first debuted at Disneyland in 1993 in honor of Mickey Mouse's birthday. The partner statue was sculpted by Disney legend Blaine Gibson, a former Disney Imagineer and animator. Blaine took one year to create the sculpture and based his depiction of Walt on the bust originally created in the 1960s. Fun fact, the initials on Walt's tie are S-T-R and stand for Smoke Tree Ranch, an area in Palm Springs where Walt once owned a vacation home. Now it's time for a Magic Kingdom theme park flashback. Here we are near Cinderella's castle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that being said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.